Hey, Upper East Siders. Gossip Girl here. Your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Manhattan's elite. When I wake up early in the morning. Hi, and welcome to a new video. I'm here with Barbie today. Hi, everyone. Today we are doing special tour about a special TV show, which is Gossip Girl. I think the outfits might give it away. I have a blazer, but it's so hot now. I, I put some bow like on the hair. We went to do skirts, but it's too cold for skirts. Yes, so cold. Yeah. We both love New York City and we both love Gossip Girl. We were talking that it's been almost 20 years now. It's crazy. And it's kind of like this TV show that it's literally timeless. Yeah, it premiered in 2017. So it's been a really long time. And what we thought for this video is that we are going to walk around New York City uh -huh. and show you some of the more iconic locations of the TV show in case you have watched it you're coming to New York City you want to go to this like very iconic places and we're starting of course here on Grand Central where it all started yes if you have watched the first episode very iconic, iconic. even if you haven't watched the show I think Serena Van Der Woodson she was yeah. right there yeah. like arriving being like oh where am I exactly you know, where is Serena <laughs> and Dan right there Rufus Jenny amazing start of an episode so Grand Central is located in Midtown Manhattan Manhattan, around 42nd Street and it's the most beautiful train station that we have here in New York. It was almost demolished at some point but they saved it and we have it right now with all the high ceilings. Great place for people watching I would say. Yes, it's definitely like one of those places that remind you that you're in New York and you're one of the most iconic cities in the world. It has been the location of so many movie scenes throughout the history of film and it's just kind of like this place where a lot of stories intertwine. You know, True. like people go in, people come in, lots of trains and the architecture. The architecture. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is our first stop. We're going to walk around Grand Central for a bit. Yeah. Welcome back to a new video. You can subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. My name is Flora. I think I didn't say that. And I will link all of Barbie's channel and links and everything down below in the description box. Now, let's go. We are here on our second location of our Gossip Girl tour through New York City. And we are the famous Lot New York Palace. Home for a little while of Miss Serena Van Der Woodson and exactly. Mr. Chuck Bass. So where, actually yes. Chuck's dad yes. was the owner of the hotel. Iconic Bart Bass, one of the best villains yeah. in TV history, <laughs> to be honest. So this hotel is very well located. It's right across from St. Patrick's Cathedral. And from what I've seen for the hotel, like the entrance and the lobby, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And if if you go online, you can see some of the rooms. It's very nice, very iconic, also very expensive. It is very expensive. <laughs> if anyone wants to stay here, more than welcome to. You can live like Serena Van Der Woods. Some of like, the most iconic scenes from the first season of Gossip Girl were filmed yeah. here. Some the, of them like walking here, yes. all the encounters. Nate and Serena encounter in the bar. It's the Blair and Serena chit chat during the first episode where they reconcile. And then it's also the place where Dan and Serena first meet up. Except Exactly, uh, yeah. Where he's trying to, you know, give her back, like, her phone. All of that encounter happened here. So, very iconic, very iconic. And I feel like if you love Gossip Girl, you definitely have seen this place on the episodes and you want to come here. So, put it down on your map. We'll link a Google Maps map of all the locations we'll be visiting down below the description box in case you want to go ahead and repeat our walk through New York City. It's just also, like, a very chill place to, you it know, is. say, have a coffee, show with some friends. Sometimes they pull up like chairs and tables. Yeah, yeah during here. summer, yeah. Yes. And they're very friendly. Like I've been here during Christmas film inside the lobby and they were okay with filming, which mm -hmm. some places are not. And they were nice. So we're probably going to go inside the lobby as well now. I'm gonna show you. Yes, so stop number two. Yay. <laughs> Taking them on a tour. If you want to take them on, you're more than welcome. 
Kevin. <laughs>we just had the experience of a lifetime true we were almost leaving actually yes we were about to leave and all of a sudden a person from the hotel a man called maurice who's basically an angel he recognized our outfits yeah. and our aesthetic and he said like are you taking gossip girl pictures and we're like yeah obviously <laughs> are obviously. maurice <laughs> um so basically he offered to do us like a guided tour through the log palace something that you wouldn't be able to do because it's not like open for uh, visitors to do but he showed us around he works here he so works here he took us to a bar inside where we see Serena yes. and Chuck. He even showed the us the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. He even showed us the kitchen of the grilled cheese gate. And then we went up the elevator. He showed yes. us the place where they had the balls, the brunch. He and worked here yeah. when the series was being filmed. So he was here through it all. So yeah. he knew. He knew even the details. Like he showed us where Nate's dad was buying drugs. He showed us the wild brunch. Oh, I got it. And got he it. knew like where Serena would stand, where yes. people would stand and look to one another yeah, and to pictures of us yes. in the middle of it he was like so eager like come on girls like pose for the pictures sweetest man alive if you come to the lot palace ask for him he's very open to give and very people. kind yeah super kind we need more of those more of those people more in the world yeah in the world we love you Maurice. thank you Ari. thank you <laughs>
the other days it closes up at five, which yeah. can be a little bit overwhelming because yes. like, even if you like arrive at 12, you won't have enough time, I swear. Yeah. Or otherwise come very early in the morning. Yes. During a weekday, it's usually when it's less busy. Yes. But yeah, this is our third stop. So now we're gonna just eat something, chat for a while, yes. and we'll see you at our next location. <laughs> We are at our fourth and final location of this Gossip Girl New York City tour. For me, the most iconic one. I mean, the Met is iconic, but this one, I feel like when you see it, it's just like those one of very Gossip Girl it places. Is. You must recognize it by now. It is Constance, aka Gossip Girl School. I feel like it's also iconic because unlike the previous locations that we toured and we visited, this one is not a school. It is a museum. So when we went to the hotel, that is used as a hotel. Same with Grand Central, same mm -hmm. with the Met. But this one, if you watch the TV show, you think, oh, that looks like an actual school. It looks like an actual school. It does. And it's not. It's a museum of the city of New York. Actually, never been. So my <laughs> list because New York does have lots of museums especially on Fifth Avenue which is known as Museum Mile when you look at it it's very special and very unique you have all this brick all this white the columns the arches it's really beautiful and they use a lot of the exterior for yes. so many of the shots we are sitting on one of the tables that's outside they also use this I mean I don't know if this is the same table and chairs but they definitely use this backyard to film if you come I mean truly one of those places that when you step on it it's like oh i'm here i'm yeah. in gossip girl <laughs> and we are right across from central park yes. so it's also like a very nice location it's definitely a bit more uptown compared to the previous yes. ones we are at 103rd 104th mm -hmm. but even though it's like a, a trip up here i think yes. it's it's worth it it's worth it and also if you walk around this area you will actually see people like go into school like the true high schools yeah. of the upper east side it's real i was talking to floor that the executive producer of gossip girl at the time that he was doing the the research to create the series social media was practically like non-existent non yeah. so the way that he had to research all of this like how high school students behave on the upper east side was actually going outside the high schools and kind of like doing a sociological study on them so it's very interesting if you go like to coffee shops or everything you will see it's all real <laughs> it's yeah. all real the preppy kids on the upper east side are a thing so that's very very interesting yeah and something that i wanted to like end our our video is why do you think that this show got so popular at the time and why do you think it's still popular so many years later? I, think I have my reasons, but I, I want to hear yours. I think at the time was mainly because it changed for me teen drama shows to the point that it didn't give about like anything at the time when it was released actually parents were very concerned that their children weren't gonna see a tv <laughs> show that was like full of drama and kids basically kissing and making Sex out and like and doing drugs, drugs and all alcohol, of this yeah. and what gossip girl did was make their marketing out of it they're actually like posters yeah. with the quotes of like churches and catholic like you know groups and it was like this is the tv show your parents don't want you to see yeah and that's the way like people obviously they wanted it because gossip girl did not care they did not care that they were like it was a show that it never asked permission to do anything they just did it they mastered drama like no other show did for me it's the game of thrones of teen drama shows <laughs> it's game of thrones if you look at it with a game of thrones kind of mind it's about like power it's about like who's on top they use word in like as king queens and it's all in high school and for me it also has like the best characterization like it really cares about their characters it gives them like a backstory it gives them a personality 
personality, you know what Blair loves, you know which movies that she like watches, you know which music she likes. The same with every single one of their characters. And I think that makes you like empathize with them a lot more. And also it's kind of like timeless. And what I was saying, like my niece is watching it right now. She's 14 because it treats themes mainly like it's entertaining. And it also works as a magazine because all of the designers wanted to be there. Yeah. All of the true. brands wanted to be in Gossip Girl. You see famous like celebrities bumping into Gossip Girl episodes true, every time because yeah. it was like if you were in Gossip Girl, you made it. You yeah. made it. <laughs> I think it also has to do with the fact that social media was like in the beginnings of it. You didn't have like this kind of like content creation deal. So it was a magazine. And yeah, for me, it was like a pioneer in so many, so many aspects. And it's still relevant because it was good. Because was if good, you yeah. do a good thing, like the same with Sex and the City, it's just like Flora didn't watch it. She's got to watch it. <laughs> I have to. Um, yeah. yeah, it's one of those TV shows. And you know, the same with movies. It's like when you do something good, it will stay in time. Like it will for your generations. Yeah, for me, I think it's also the fact that they, in a way, showed what the Manhattan elite. I mean, they say it like in every episode, like they're showing like behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And maybe we see that like a lot more nowadays with Succession that just finished. Oh. But I feel like maybe we didn't have that many shows showing what the kids of the very rich mm -hmm. and very powerful did. Which of course, this is like not a documentary, but there are some elements of reality of things that actually happened and yes. where people used to live or where they go to school or what their options are in terms of college. You know, you go to the Ivies and you have this like pedigree or where your parents went to school and how big of a role money yes, plays in exactly. like classes and society. And That's what I was saying, like it never asks permission. And yeah. that is exactly what these people, like when you have that much amount of money, you don't ask for permission to do anything. You exactly. just do it because you can. And I feel like that's the series really capture that in a way that it's like power of money. We don't yeah. care. We're going to do whatever, whatever we want. So yeah, I think that that's the, the essence of it. It's just like Gossip Girl did whatever it wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good show. It's like we, really we show. loved it. I, I rewatched some of the episodes for this video and I was like, of course, some things have changed, but I, I still think that in 2024, 2025, yes. you can definitely watch it and enjoy it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, it's just like, it's the TV show that I watch whenever I'm feeling like I need therapy. <laughs> I mean, like, what would Blair Waldorf do? She's still relevant. She will always be relevant. And so. I feel like if you love fashion also, and if you love New York City, you're definitely going to love it. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Go ahead, watch it if you haven't already. If you have, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave all of Barbecue's links down below in the description box. Let us know if you want a part two. Yes. Definitely happy. Because we're open for it. Yes, happy to a part two. Happy to. We'll see you on the next one. Everyone. Bye. <laughs>